few minutes from the Ephesian uh, book of Ephesian from 6 10 to 14 it's a familiar words i know everybody knows about it this is what the god something encouraging me in my heart so you know the book of ephesian is written by apostle paul and you can see that um, in Uh, first Timothy, the pastor of Asa Timothy, you can see that in First Timothy and Second Timothy. First Timothy was written when the uh, church was really growing well, and the people were uh, um, apostle Paul was teaching. He has a school in the Ephesus. It's called Tyrannus, and that people were growing so much. You can see that in First Timothy, the half of the Ephesian people came into Christianity that time, fifty percent. That's what the history is saying. So it was growing fast. from the first timothy to second timothy you can see there is a decline what happened the nero came into this power the nero accuses christians because of his wrong doing he accuses the christians to be persecuted so he uh, he went to the court and uh, said five things about against the christians and these roman people believed it and these people you know the roman turn are uh, turn against them and the christians was persecuting you can see in the second timothy that uh, persecution you know the uh, Timothy was writing with the tears the letter to the Ephesian uh, uh, to the Paul so if you look on the book of Ephesians it was full of a uh, lot of knowledge in there it's the first three is re uh, recount of the gospel about the Jesus and the last three is talking about we can live out of truth of gospel so you can see that this is a full of uh, wisdom in that book so and so if you look on that uh, it says uh, i'm going to read from uh, ephesians 6 to 10 to 14 finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put the whole armor of the god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood but against the principalities against the powers against the rulers of the darkness of the age against the spiritual hosts that wickedness of heavenly places therefore take up the whole armor of the god that you may able to withstand the evil day and having done all to stand 14 said stand therefore that's all i'm going to say so if you look on that ephesian book of ephesian there is a six, six chapters the first one is talking about um the first ephesian 14 is talking about elect 14 uh, is elected by god we are elected by god 15 we are adopted 17 we are redeemed 13 we are sealed with the power of the holy Pro uh, holy spirit promises 26 is a grace of god and uh, we raised up sit together in heavenly places in jesus christ and 311 you can see paul described the eternal purpose of the uh, uh, god's church and 411 411 is fivefold ministry 518 be filled with the power of the holy spirit and keep on filling and 6 is talking about the interpersonal relationship over there and the 610 is talking about finally my brother and be strong in the lord and power of the whole power of the his might so is talking about but you know if you look on that facing church at that time people are like fighting each other backbiting and uh, bittering it's like bitterness everything was going on in the church apostle paul is saying if you don't get any of these uh, things at least get this finally my brother and be strong in the lord and power of his might yeah, so uh, uh, it says here you know be strong in the lord that be strong that strong word if word if you look on that greek word is a uh, n n dynamo so the power you know the b uh, n dynamo n is like a flower vase with the water in it that's what the n word means dynamo is a dynamite dynamite power so it says n dynamo be strong be strong you have to be have that flower vase with the full of water in it that's a n and the dynamite power inside it so we receive the power when the holy spirit come on you that's the same word using is the same word gospel is power of uh, uh, roman 116 gospel is power unto salvation that power is all those the same word is using so if you look at it that dynamite power you know the hurricane strength power we have inside of is god is putting in this vase the vase filled with the water god is putting that power inside of us that's a, a god is given to us the power place that vessel is us each one of us so the natural people become supernatural is a god and it says here be strong in the lord where is this power is locked up in jesus christ in us so jesus we don't have that power 
is a Jesus Christ in us. Be strong in the Lord. So, Ephesians 1, if you look at it, there is a seven places. In Him we have the power. In Him we have the inheritance. In Him we have the redemption. In Him we have the trust. In Him, that's what it's saying in Ephesians 1. So, the power is locked up in Jesus Christ. That vessel is ours. So, it's like, and the second thing, if you look on the same word, be strong in the power and his might. And if you look on that power, the word in Greek is kratos. That is a tangible presence of the power. It's not like, a, you know, if you look on the Old Testament, the disciples, they walk in the miracles powers. That kind of power Jesus is placing is not us. It's a God inside of us. He's doing that work. So we have that power is given to us uh, of his might. The, why the might is discussed. The word is saying about it's a bow. Uh, it's like a stamina, it's like a bodybuilder's uh, stamina, that kind of power and might, the strength that God is given to us. So be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And the second word is saying, put on the whole armor of the God that you may able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So here, put on, if you look at it, we don't have to put like a helmet of salvation, all those things every day. We just sit in the presence of the God. The Holy Spirit will wear you that dress for us every day. If you don't sit on the presence of the God, he says you sit on the uh, shard of God Almighty. He will, you know, he wear that dress for us every day. So we don't have to worry about it. Just sit in the presence. If you, even if you save, you are Christian for 30, 40 years. If you don't sit on the presence, if you are not reading the Bible, you are getting the assault of the enemy I will tell you the enemy will come there is a real enemy out there it will come and assault you with everything so you have to have that power of the Holy Spirit in us you have to have the divine power that Holy Spirit you know Jesus is given to us that power we just have to take it from faith that's the only thing we have to do it and uh, the revelation too you can look at it in the Ephesus church they went away from the God and they drift away from the God the Holy Spirit told where you left go back and get that first love so that's very important um, for each one of us. We are, are we grieving the Holy Spirit? Just examine ourselves. And the six eleven, the second part is um, put on the whole armor of the God. You may able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So look at that word. The stand against. The stand means uh, the word is. Um, Hestemi. Uh, the Hestemi means like a soldiers, they put all the armor, they stand against. Against. So uh, the against is the pro. The word is pro. That means it's like face to face. So enemy come and stand face to face with you. You have that weapons. God is putting that weapons. You don't have to worry about it. That's, a, that's what the word is saying. With the whole armor of the God, you may able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So you don't have to scale of it. You have a stronger body, you stronger inside is greater than in the world. So you don't have to worry about it. So the uh, 412 is talking about we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, against the principalities, powers, against the rulers of darkness of the age, against the spiritual host, wickedness in holy places. So look at that. Uh, you know, there is a real heaven, there is a hell, there is an angelic, uh, 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 angels from the God, and there is angel from the demon also. If you don't believe it, you are, you know, getting foolish. There is a real thing is there. So you have to understand. It says Apostle Paul, there is a chief, you know, the powers of the darkness living in this, um, above the sky, the first heaven. So these chief generals over there, sending all the information to, and to the below, whoever worshipping these people, there is a group of people worshipping in this world, their power go to them, those people will send that, you know, go into infiltrate into these authorities, like the rulers of this world, like mayors, presidents, governments, all those uh, culture, cultural arts, all those areas, they, they go with the demons of doctrines of demon what is doctrines of demon they bring with a fully um, dis you know full uh, packed information into these people into these people and they believed it it come through the media it come through the games it comes all over the place so you listen this uh, always uh, constantly listening this news and medias and everything you are a real uh, you get away it says bible saying whenever the son of god comes who has that faith you get away from that faith because of your mind is uh, diluted with the media and information the bible does not say you know uh, at the end time uh, 
uh, by people is not abandoning the faith they slowly departing from the faith that's what it's saying so whenever son of man come jesus is looking for one person with a faith so that's going to happen at the end time is the bible clearly saying about it so um, so we have to pray for this our generation is very important if you look on our history the generation in the 100 years in the old testament the king the good king next bad king comes the uh, country will go into the wrong wrong direction so if you look on our generations look on the last 100 year generation there was a 1900 there was a revival it's a good you know it's a great it's called great generation so that when was you know they were uh, filled with the holy spirit they spread gospel all, all over the world world the next one came the silent generation they didn't do anything even hitler killed the people they sit quietly the third came baby boomer generation the 80% of the america was christians at the time what happened they did not prepare the next generation that's a generation x that's my generation uh, who were born after 65 is ge- that generation so my generation did not prepare the next generation uh, baby boomer did not prepare next two generation millennium generation so there was a dk all this happened allow this uh, church allow this happen to the uh, country so this that's what we are like this right now what is happening so god sent a revival on this gen c generation that started on the jewels age that 95 whoever born after that age you know gen c generation and the alpha generation whoever uh, 10 and under uh, i am praying god to revive those generation my god Hallelujah! God is sending the generation revival on that. You know, they will be like Apostle Paul. They will be uh, getting into all those areas in this world, and they will be ruling. Not the not the powers of the darkness. Uh, not going to rule this world. Uh, we all have to pray for this. Okay? So the devil has commitment. If you look on the demonic people, they have a big Bible. like this big bible one patient came to me with that bible one time they have a commitment they have a organization they have a discipline in their life do we have a discipline in our life do we have a commitment do we have organization do they have they whatever they do committed these people will committed and they are, they if they go out they will be killed they will be tortured by the demon so they are scared so do we have that kind of commitment in our life the word 13 613 saying therefore take up the whole armor of the god that you may be able to withstand the days uh with withstand the evil day and having done all to stand it says therefore in response to everything god is given the divine power inside of you god is given the spiritual weaponry and there is a enemy standing out there what are you doing even if you go drift away from it it's okay holy spirit is telling you come back it's come back or go uh, come back to the uh, you know the um, of this uh, ephesian church was full of knowledge and revelation apostle paul teach those people even these people went away from from it they know everything but what happened to us you know god is saying come back take that whole armor and stand uh, a stand firm that's what they saying push the enemy 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 is pushing you all the time but if we have that armor the helmet you know the helmet of salvation helmet if you have that helmet the soldier's helmet do you remember it is with a um, the red thing on the top if you stand there all the people will notice you have that that's a salvation he given to us people will notice you if you have the real, really power of the god the people will notice even if a thousand people is there the workplace or wherever it is they will notice this is a different kind of person so if that is a salvation you know helmet of salvation what is a breastfeed of righteousness belt of truth belt is for, connected with a lot of things everything shoe shoes of peace the shoes is heavy if you look on their oh, soldier shoes they have like a metal bars inside on the bottom and there is a shin area there is a metal so if you walk on those thorns or anywhere nothing going to hurt you so that's the shoes he given to us so you know holy spirit is wearing that weapons every day we don't have to scared he given everything all the wisdom given to us we just have to be open our spiritual eye to see and take it with the faith and go forward it says verse 14 is saying stand hold the head up put put the faith to work in time you and me are standing there is a in time there is a two words eskatos and there is a uh, hastres hastres eskaton you know that 
started when was Jesus death time you know Jesus died resurrected the uh, end time is started but it's uh, the line we are on this 2033 years we are on the last point that's a word in Timothy is using hesteros so we have to be understand the word is different so we have to be very careful in first Peter uh, it's a d divine infusion power is given to us so we have we can stand firm First Peter 4 7 saying for the time has come the judgment is begin in the house of the God and it will uh, with us first what will be end of those who do not obey the gospel the revelation 10 6 saying time is delayed no more because you know the, we are procrastinating we are saying you know we are not ready we are not ready but you hearing the gospel we always you know uh, taking it as it but the god is saying at the end time the people are misusing god's grace and mercy the end time it says god saying i will not delay no more that's what the 10 6 uh, Revelation J. God will want each one of us to be the alabaster alabaster jar of ours to be broken. Unless this alabaster jar of ours is not broken, that God cannot pour out that end no more power into us. God cannot pour that end um, the the ways inside of us with the power of the Holy Spirit. So you know uh, in the uh, Matthew three eleven it says, uh, you will uh, whenever Jesus comes, you will be. You will be uh, yeah, baptize you with the fire, uh, Holy Spirit and the fire. So we need to have both baptism. Baptism of the Holy Spirit is important. That talking in tongues. And the other thing is it is uh, optional. It, the God does not push you anybody to get that. But it is good. It's a God's wisdom and the baptism of the fire. That's a very important. Uh, we have to go while we were living in this world. We have to go into judgment seat of the Christ. The God is a consuming fire. We have to go into the presence of the God. We when we go into the presence of the God all the impurities will get away from our body you have to have that kind of encounter unless you have that sitting on the judgment seat with the Christ and you have to you have to all those wood hay everything needs to go away while we were living in this world if you get that kind of encounter if you have that fire you know fire, you go through that fire um, the, the God can help you uh, God will help you you know not that um, uh, uh, the sufferings bringing that enemy is not that I'm talking about it is the whatever you do the right thing the enemy will come and attack you if you look on the Joseph story the, he went through uh, seven kind of testing so that testing is the fire we go through and we God will want it to make us a strong like a uh, strong like a uh, gold like you know it won't break so even if it goes to go through 3000 uh, you know centigrade whatever it is it we don't break it so that like a joseph went through seven tests what was the pride test he went to pit test he went to fortifers test he went through a uh, pharaoh's test he went to patient test he went to prosperity test and he went to power of forgiveness so we have to we will if uh, if you look on the david he went to 13 years joseph went to 13 years many went to the like that so uh, we have to go through we will go through it if you go through while we were living in this world what Whatever we lost, we can be redeemed. When we go into the uh, glory of the God, that time, we will receive the reward. May God, you, may God bless you with this words. Thank you.